Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's been a long time coming. Finally put on enough miles on these new Schwalbe G1 RS tires to really compile my first initial thoughts on it. So there are going to be a couple of things today that I'm going to go over with and share that I've learned about these tires that you should know. So I've been fortunate enough over the last uh, month or two that I've had these tires to put on several hundred miles of really varied terrain to get a good idea of their strengths and their weaknesses. Um, now, I will say, because I haven't had these for a really long time, I can't put too much stock into uh, the durability of them just because they haven't had much wear and I really haven't been down in the Flint Hills where I had a lot of trouble last time. So I'll touch on that just a little bit, but uh, really need a much longer term review to go into uh, durability in depth. The topics I'm gonna to be focusing on primarily in this video are going to be comfort, speed, and traction. And those are really the big things that you need to be concerned with when you're trying to get a gravel race tire, which is what these are absolutely billed as, just a, a top tier race tire for gravel events. Okay, so first things first, with this being a gravel race tire, everybody wants to know how fast it is. And so we can look at the bicycle rolling resistance data and see that it is a top tier uh, gravel tire as far as rolling resistance. Um, that's something that is measured on their site comparatively. So I think it is a very fast tire when talking about rolling resistance. Um, I do also feel like subjectively it was a fairly fast tire uh, on the gravel that I rode, mostly on the hard pack sections. Um, in the rougher stuff, you know, I think it uh, leaves some to be desired. But um, also it is a relatively supple tire, not nearly as supple as the uh, challenge tire that I replaced with these, but I also think that a little bit of suppleness goes a long way in feeling fast on gravel as well. So I've done a lot of gravel riding centered around the Belgian Waffle Kansas uh, race, which some of you may know has a lot of single track sectors as well, so not simply just uh, smooth, fast, wide gravel roads that we're known for here in Kansas, but more uh, technical sections and some really steep pitches and things like that. Nice work. Yeah. In those instances, traction is a huge factor in being in a competitive spot in those races. With that said, traction on these is good but it could be better. Um, the, the lack of center tread, you know, it's just a, a relatively smooth center pattern, aids in speed of the tire, but it also does not lend itself well to out of the saddle efforts on steep pitches because I did have some tire spin in those situations. And then I had to remain in the seated position, which I can't put out near as much power, seated versus standing. Uh, and my preferred method of climbing is standing out of the saddle. So um, that did kind of hinder me a little bit, but it wasn't significant. It wasn't near as bad as the smooth center tread on the Vittoria Torino Zero tires that I had, but it also wasn't as good as the Challenge Getaway Pro tires that did have a dedicated tread block down the middle. Another aspect that comes into play with traction is going to be the side blocks uh, for cornering traction. Um, this is something that is really important to me because I did take a spill a while back 
on the terrain of zeros because of a, a slip out and cornering because they just had very little shoulder tread. Um, these Schwalbe G1 RS tires do have a pretty significant elevated block on the corner, but I also still did not find it quite as grippy in the corners as the Challenge tires, so that's kind of a, a knock against these. Um, but it did have enough. So I did feel fairly confident descending in some fast sweeping corners, um, which, you know, we do have quite a bit of those around here. Um, and that confidence is really key in being fast in those situations. Um, when I'm racing gravel races, whether it have been Unbound or the, the Belgian waffle races that I've done, I always tend to be faster than some of the other competitors um, in the descents, especially those with cornering, just because I am a confident descender even on gravel. Now, finally on to comfort, which I kind of alluded to previously when discussing uh, the speed of the tire. These are decently supple, which certainly aids in the comfort of them, uh, but I wouldn't say that they're the most supple tire out there. The Challenge tires uh, with the handmade construction, um, I do have to admit those were a very supple tire and it was extremely noticeable going to those challenge tires over others as far as feeling that suppleness which in my opinion um, i don't really have any data to back it up but i do believe that more comfortable tires on gravel tend to make you faster over the long term just because of the fatigue that you can build up um, over hours of racing with a harsh riding tire or bike setup so um, these are better than most but definitely not the best in the comfort aspect. So I really haven't had these tires long enough to give a, a good opinion and, fee and some feedback on uh, durability of them. But I will say over the several hundred mi miles that I've used them thus far, I haven't had any cuts or punctures or anything like that. Um, they set up very well on the uh, installation, which you can see on my past video that I can link to up there. Um, but yeah, they, they run really well. They maintain their uh, air pressure very well. They don't leak down very fast at all, which is good. Um, that could also be a component of using the muck off sealant that I have in here, but uh, pretty pleased with them for a usability aspect like that. All right, so that's that. Relatively short video for you today, guys, on these. Um, as always, if you have any comments, questions about these tires, or want to just share your own experience, drop them down there in the comments below. Um, I love hearing your opinions on that. And I also think that's very good for others that search out these videos looking for real world feedback um, on what their uh, thoughts are on these. So if you have your own thoughts that you, that you wanna contribute, again, just drop them down there, it helps everybody out. Um, as always, if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already getting really close to the thousand subscriber threshold here, which is gonna mark a huge turn for my channel. Um, so really looking forward to hitting that milestone. And as always, until next time, enjoy your ride.